Hi everybody, my name is Sumi, also known as Sumi Sweet. Um, I think people have been calling me that for years, so I just stuck with it. Um, yeah, okay, this is my very first video on YouTube. I know, it's taken me years. Like, my friends and family have been like telling me to do YouTube for like the longest time, but I've never found the time. Um, but I thought, hey, you know, why not just like, just start and like, you know, get on with it. Since I love beauty products so much and I love hair, I love makeup, I love skincare, I'm a junkie, I just like to buy stuff. My friends will tell you that, that I'm terrible, I make them buy stuff, so now I'm making you buy stuff. <laughs> so bear with me. So today, um, I just want to do my March haul video. I bought so many things in March, it's not even funny. Honestly, this is like, maybe like, eh, half of it. <laughs> so let's start with um, skincare. Um, what I've been doing for my skincare is I'm trying to go into more natural and organic stuff because I feel like um, my skin's getting a bit weird. Like I used to be able to slab on anything and my skin's like, yeah, give it to me, give it to me. But now it's like, nah, -uh, what do you think you're doing? Mm -hmm. And then it will just start acting weird. And so I started using, I'm starting to use more natural products like, you know, incorporating coconut oil into my skincare and stuff like that. So um, I've been wanting to try products from Olive Asia for a long time and I recently found out that they are retailing at uh, Pretty Fresh SG which is an online store um, that um, holds a lot of natural and organic products uh, and they also have really great initiatives. Every time you buy like a soap from them or a product from them, they actually donate a soap bag to um, orphans or children who are underprivileged who don't have access to hygiene products. So I think that's a really great cause and I, I wanted to support them. So I ordered um, my Olive Asia products from Pretty Fresh SG. So what I got was um, the Olive Asia um, Olive Leaf Rose Hip Oil. Um, I've been wanting to try rose oil for a long time. I ordered one on iHerb, but then it came smelling really funky. So I was like, maybe not. So um, I bought this one. It retails for $35 on their site. And um, I started using it maybe about four nights ago. And I'm really seeing a great difference on my skin. Like, I wake in, okay, in the night when you put it on, you have like an uh, oily bit, everything. But in the morning, when I wake up, it's so smooth and so soft I'm just like whoa so I'm really liking this one um, it's great okay and then the next thing I got um, is the brightening face moisturizer um, it's supposedly like um, to make your skin brighter I guess that's why it's called brightening <laughs> but I realized I was lacking a moisturizer I've just been using SK2 the facial treatment essence and the sublimation aura essence but I realized I didn't have like a moisturizer so yeah I want to try this this is also really good I use it in the daytime um, but I can't use it when I'm going out though because I feel like it gets a bit greasy so it's good if I'm staying at home and then I just slap this on and sit at home and let it all soak in but not if you're going to go out yeah I, I don't think that's great so next moving along to a new discovery um, but I think everybody has jumped on this bandwagon cause Nikki Tall said so BAM the Nivea men replenishing post shave balm I know I know it's weird it smells really manly it feels a bit weird when you put it on I feel like I'm a dude who just shaved her face but it really works like um, you put it on, you're supposed to make it a bit tacky, you're supposed to work it in and then like make it tacky and then you put on your foundation and put on blah 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 blah. The first time I tried it, okay my friend Santia recommended it so she's like you know why don't we go and get it so why not right because we have tried everything under the sun so why not and it was like whoa my foundation my makeup stayed on the whole day like i didn't realize it i just went along my my day and then i realized like hey my face is actually looking pretty good i don't have to touch up and so i tried it again and yeah it really works <laughs> you can get it i got it at giant <laughs> i know giants like our local hypermart like a target or something i guess no even lo lower than target but yeah don't knock giant you can get stuff like this because you can't find it watson's or guardian yet i guess so and i heard you can get it at mustafa mustafa 24 hours mm -mm. now we're moving along to face base products okay what i was wanting to try and um what is new on nyx is actually this um pro foundation mixer i, I, I haven't tried it yet but 
yeah, it's really cool. They basically, what happens is if you have a foundation that is too light or too dark or whatever, it's not your skin tone, um, you can add like drops of this into your foundation and then it, it to create that, that correct color shade that you want. So I think it's a great, I think Body Shop has one, but it's not in Singapore yet. And of course, Cover, Cover FX has one, but that's like really expensive. This is only 10 US dollars, so. The next thing that I got, and um, I was really exciting because um, I'm I'm starting to get into the freelance makeup um, industry again. I used to do it um, about maybe four to five years ago, and then um, I had to stop because I was uh, I, I just changed jobs, and my new job was um, really demanding, and I couldn't commit to my clients, so um, I stopped. So now I'm starting to get back into it. Um, I'm accepting clients now again. So I was researching. Um, foundation palettes uh, to carry around because I hate carrying around like bottles of different foundations so I needed a palette and then what I found was this RCMA um, foundation palette this is just the 5 series they have like a larger version but I wanted to try like the smaller version to see like how it worked um, yeah so I got this from camera ready cosmetics I think it was 48 USD yeah and this is the Shinto series, so it's SH1 to SH5, um, 5 being the darkest. So I think it's a pretty cool palette because um, I haven't really tested it out yet. Um, I mainly used it a bit for like um, cover-ups, like foundation, I mean for like concealer. So and it really, it really works, I mean it's really good. The only thing is it is really small, like the product you get in it is really small so all right moving along to all the exciting things guys <laughs> this month was a month of eyeshadow palettes yeah i went ham on all these eyeshadow palettes seriously because some of these were like um, limited edition releases and some of them um, are things that i've really wanted for a long time so the first thing is actually um has been raved about and it's really expensive and i was like really contemplating do i need this in my life but yeah i caved in because i made a beauty dish order and i needed like to make the minimum order so i i, I just happened to drop this into my cart to make the minimum order and then some hmm. so it's the natasha denona eyeshadow palette okay i didn't get like the huge s one the 20 odd colors that is like 200 us dollars no 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 <laughs> i just got the five shade palette uh, this is the eyeshadow palette 10 um, which I was really attracted to because of this gold this gold though yeah okay my sad story about this is I ordered it it got here so fast Beautylish is really fast I think it came in like three days or four days yeah it, it arrived really fast but when I opened the packages I saw like glitter everywhere like outside and I'm like that's not a good sign and then I opened it up and I was like damn the entire palette was just ex it just covered with the gold glitter only the gold glitter um shattered and then it just covered everything and you know glitter doesn't come out of anything so i'm like i can't even use the rest of the, i can't use the rest of the colors okay i wrote to them and then i didn't check my email for like the whole day and when i checked at night they had already sent out the replacement package so Kudos, Beautylish. I love your service. Like, they sent it out. I already got tracking number and everything. I'm like, great. So it came with the gold. Like, it was a bit... Like, it, it was a bit loose, the gold. So, I realized the gold doesn't travel well. So, it's only the gold. The rest of the colors, you no, know, were impeccable. So. And they swatch beautifully. And I, it's really worth the, the money. Like, because one, one square, if you buy it individually, retails for like 24 USD. This is 5 shades for 48, so why not? And then the larger one is even more worth it because it's like 20 odd shades for 200, so it's really worth it. Don't go and buy the individual shades on the test out or please just get the 5 shades. They have like so many, so many variations. This is the 10, I think there's like 12 or 15 different variations of colors that you can get. So do that, get that. Okay, and then the next thing that I was, um, really excited about it is BAM! The Makeup Geek and Many Makeup Artist Palette. Oh my god, this sold out so fast. Like, I had the VIP link, but I also follow like a lot of um, Instagram 
um, pages like Trend Mood One and like Lipstick Junkie Forever, which gives you like live updates because like there are people in the US who are even crazier than me. They like, actually stay up and like you know once it's out, it's out. So, <laughs> so I saw it. I saw them saying that it has launched for the VIP, and I went online and I just bought. I just put two to cut, like one for me and one for my BB. So my BB is Sadie B. Hi BB. <laughs> she is very putting actually because like everything I buy I don't think I'll just put in the cut for her as well so she has no choice but to like get one as well which she doesn't complain about because she also wants it sharing the love so yeah it was only limited to two per order so I thought, I thought why not just get two if not if she didn't want it which she does <laughs> um, I could like you know give it to someone else so yeah and it's really beautiful it's nine shades um, they have um, four foiled that are new foiled that you can't get individually and then the rest are like um, a shim or a matte, a matte, they're all mattes. Uh, are so good, oh my god, this colour here, Insomnia, is just like, I just, okay, I got it and I haven't used, I didn't use it for like two weeks, I don't know why, I, I really don't know why, I was just staring at it every day, just like, I didn't use it so I used it this weekend the most of the colors in my eye look and this one though just stole my heart I was just like where have you been all my life so I think this retailed for 35 I want to say I'm not sure I think it's 35 USD on the makeup geek website um and uh, they don't have a discount code they usually don't they usually do like sales so i didn't get a discount code i'm a fiend when it comes to discount codes i'll go to google i'll go and like find instagram accounts that have discount codes because why pay more when you can pay less right so this one didn't have one but then i shipped it to my us address so the shipping wasn't a bomb because if not if you ship it here it's like i don't know like 30 us dollars just for shipping which is stupid so no yeah so i don't think this is available now they um they didn't restock after that first like um release and it really literally sold out in like three minutes like literally so um when it restocks um it will probably be up on their web on their instagram accounts or you can follow trend mode one or lipstick junkie forever they're really good with updating um releases for all products so follow them and then you can get yours too um the next eyeshadow palette that I got um, I've been following their Instagram account for a while and I'm always looking at their video swatches and going like man I need some of these I don't know I just like okay just like time went past and I didn't so after they released like this palette and then I saw swatches of it I'm just like okay man I have to get these it's the Suva Beauty eyeshadow palette in called the Hustle um, it has four eyeshadows. Let me just show this to you. Then you will understand why I needed it. Boom! So gorgeous. Like, <sighs> so good. So they are a Canadian um, beauty company. So it's shipped from Canada. But, um, and I shipped this. I think I shipped it directly to me. Um, I ordered this plus some individual eyeshadows and my friends ordered as well so we shared the shipping so it was not expensive at all and these are like XL pens so if you see these versus like let me just do a comparison for you so the makeup geek ones are the same size as the MAC eyeshadows right so the Suwa Beauty ones are actually like bigger they are XL so you can see the size difference um, and it retails for $29.95 USD so that's really worth it for, um, for, for, for eyeshadows like this and they swatch beautifully, they are creamy, um, you don't need a primer but when you do put a primer or you do apply them wet it's like magical, it's really magical like I need to get me more colours, these are really good. So these are good for like bridal, like um, because it's so neutral and then the gold is so like it's so Indian bright so yeah that ah and the last eyeshadow palette I just got this like two days ago this is another one that I had to put my alarm for like 2 a.m. to like get up and like you know make sure that like, my account is everything in order I just have to like add to cut and go like this is another one it's the Violet Boss uh, Pro Palette in Holy Grail it was so hyped up and everybody was like I need two, I need three, I need five, whatever. But then they limited 
each order to one so thank god for that if not i don't even think i would have gotten this because i ordered it and once i got my confirmation e confirmation email i went back to like their instagram account um just to like see what other people are commenting and people were like it's sold out i didn't get any what the hell da, 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 da. and i was like thank the lord thank the makeup lords i managed to get my hands on this so let me just show this to you you will die <sighs> How pretty, literally, how pretty, like, I've just been doing this the whole weekend, like my husband's like, are you mad? And I'm like, look at my baby, it's so gorgeous, like all the colours are so wearable, like especially this last row, my sister is right, my sister was right, she saw this and said, you are just all about the last row, I'm like, yes, I'm very into the maroons and the plums these days. Like I'm all about it. Like you know, that's all I'm doing these days. So that's what I got for my eyeshadow palettes. And next, let's move on to my obsession: lipsticks. Guys, I have a serious problem with lipsticks. Like you know those revolving lipstick um, holders? Yeah, I got one of those. So the whole hundred and twenty lipsticks. It's full. My revolving tower is full and I have another container that holds like my other lipsticks that need a home. So it's a problem, it's a problem I know <laughs> but I can't help it. All these companies coming out with all these beautiful shades I'm just like damn I need, I need everything. So the first thing that I managed to get my hands on after months, months of trying to get them, I didn't even bother when this released in in December because I knew I was not going to be able to get them. So they are the Jeffree Star Velour Lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, yeah? And these are like 18 USD each. I got them from Beautylish and the shades that I got them in are Androgyny and Masochist. So Androgyny is this... Mm. beautiful shade beautiful that looks really good on all skin tones like so naturally I ordered and then of course my friend Satya got one too because so she's like a NC40 and I'm like a NC45 and this shade looks so complimentary on both of us and this other shade though masochist like I used to always wear hot pink lipsticks and then I stopped and I was in a red phase and then I was in a neutral phase now I'm in a plum phase, a dark lip phase so I was like eh, should I get this? And I'm like okay fine I'll just get it and then I got this and I wore it and I'm like man it's not even a hot pink, it's like a dark dark blue pink kind of a yumminess mixed together and I just want to eat it so it's really nice. I wear it all the time and I always get compliments when I wear it. So um, if you manage to get your hands on them, please get androgyny first and then masochist. If you can have androgyny, get it because yeah, just, just get it, just get it. Don't think, just get it. It's only 18 USD, so just get it, okay? And Beautylish is like um, free shipping above, I, I want to say... $40? Yeah, I think it's free shipping about $40. If not, it's a flat rate of I don't know what, some cheap amount. So just get it. And then the next um, brand that I'm going to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. So I run um, Makeup Bag, which is an online um, shop that you can get your products from. Um, products that you can't get in Singapore like we bring in Colourpop, we bring in Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know, um, anything that you can't get here we try to bring in from our customers. So I've been selling these on Makeup Bag for like a year, more than a year but I I don't know why I haven't gotten any for myself till recently so I was just like nah, okay, nah. So I finally got two for myself to try out because people kept ordering it and I'm like what's the big deal like Hmm, let's try because it's not cheap. It's like 20 USD. So it's it's not cheap. It's not a cheap product So I tried I, I got both and I understand. I understand what the hype is all about. I got um, This shade in craft and this shade is called sad girl and they are both gorgeous I love me some sad girl though. This is like a dark red maroon with like really fine glitter and it's so gorgeous, it just applies beautifully. I know people that have a lot of problems with Anastasia liquid lipsticks. People are like, oh, it's very drying, it doesn't wear the whole day. But I don't know, I don't have that problem. Like, 
it lasts for me i mean i don't have to touch up and that's the end of my very first YouTube video. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to share all my um, news and all my products and everything with you. So um, I hope that you will join me on my journey. And if you like this video, please thumbs up. Click the subscribe button below so that you'll know when I have my next video. And just give me um, leave me a shout out. Give me a comment. Um, let me know what you like, what you don't like, um, what you like to see. Um, and I'll be sure to comment back. Um, with that, I hope you have a great day ahead and then I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!